Who you gonna go? Ghostbusters! This will forever be a classic. We have some awesome 80s songs for you today, and we're gonna see how well you know them. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I love these. These are my favorite. I'm excited. I did a Do They Know It to the 80s music once before, and I did really well. I know the songs, but I don't know anything about the songs. I'm so great at recalling, like, musicians and, and like, naming songs. That's totally my strong suit. Not very good with songs, not very good with artists, but I do my best, and I have fun here. That's what we do. Sounds so familiar. It's true. In a material world. Oh, I love this song. Yes. In a material world. And I am a material girl. Oh, that is such a bop. So do you know this one? Uh, Material Girl. Bye. Material Girl? Um, artist? I have no idea. Mm, Material Girl, Madonna. Material Girl by Madonna? Material Girl by Madonna. It's Material Girl and it's Madonna. Material Girl by Madonna. This is Material Girl by Madonna. I know Madonna. I love her so much. She's an icon in 80s music. I think that song is just like, hearing it just like sounds like a party. In this music video, Madonna is dressed like Marilyn Monroe in the number Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend. Mm -hmm. She actually met her future husband, Sean Penn, on the set of this music video shoot. Oh, that's nice. She met her material boy. I knew that, but I didn't know how they met. So that's cool. Sounds familiar too. Watch out, here I come. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a round, 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 This is an 80s song? Right round, baby, Wow, I've never thought about the original version of that song. Do you know this one? I've heard it, but I don't think I know the title. Right round, baby you spin me, maybe one of those. You spin me round, I don't know the artist. This is You Spin Me Round, it's by Dead or Alive. Dead or Alive, I don't think I've ever heard of them. I have not heard of that, but I feel like I need to look them up because that was like, it was like fun. The song was sampled by rapper Flo Rida and Kesha on their 2009 number one single, Right Round. Which is a bop. And it, I feel like that song even made this song more popular. That's why I'm really confused. The sounds in that original song are just very different from like the version that I've been hearing on the radio. Oh wow, that's, that's a 10 year old song. I'm feeling old. definitely sounds familiar. I know I've heard it before. I'm trying to remember where. <laughs> I have no idea what this is. Those were the best days of my life. Oh, f my dad's gonna get mad if I get this wrong. Who is it? Back in the summer of 69. Oh, I love that song. Do you know the song? Little bits of it sound familiar, but I don't think I've ever heard this before. Summer of 69, but I just can't think of the artist. Summer of 69, is it? Is it the boss? Is it Bruce Springsteen? I think the title of the song is Summer of 69. Is it Bruce Springsteen? Summer of 69 by Brian Adams? This is called Summer of 69. It's by Brian Adams. I have no idea who that is, nor have I ever heard that song before. Ah, I know her name! I know her name! I don't know that I've heard any of his other songs, but that song's pretty good. I'm picturing coconut shells. This is from the Lizzie McGuire movie. Oh, this song makes me so happy. This song is so familiar. I feel like I haven't heard 
this since I was like really little. Uh, uh, who are you? Who are you? Do you know the song? <laughs> nope. I don't know it. I know I've heard it, but I just can't think of the title of the artist. The Tide is High. I don't know the artist. The Tide is High by Blondie. This is The Tide is High by Blondie. Blondie, okay. I've heard of Blondie. That's one of those songs that gets stuck in your head and you're just gonna be singing and swaying the whole day. It just makes me wanna like cruise down the PCH along Malibu with my non-existent convertible with the top down. <laughs> this was actually Blondie's cover of the original song recorded by the Jamaican group The Paragons in 1966. The song gained attention when Blondie's version became a US and UK number one hit. That's interesting. Yeah, I kind of got like the like the reggae kind of vibe from it. I like when artists do their own version of a song and then that just brings more recognition to the original version of the song because they're still like two completely sipped, like separate different productions, but they're both awesome. Hello? Oh, yes. Is it me you're looking for? Alex sings this all the time. I can see it in your smile. You're all I've ever wanted. Oh, this song is so good. Cause you know it sounds like this. I wish I knew how to play the piano so I could just like sit down dramatically and be like. And I want to tell you so much. I like it. It's like very slow and kind of romantic. Do you know it? No. <laughs> Could not tell you. It's Lionel Richie, I know that. Is it me? Hello by Lionel Richie. Hello by Lionel Richie. Hello by Lionel Richie. This is Hello by Lionel Richie. Oh, f I like it a lot. And I like Lionel Richie too. I guess I don't like him as much as I thought I liked him. My mom used to play this all the time on car road trips, so I would hear it over and over again. I remember hearing this when I was like 10. You know, and just wanting to cry and have anything to cry about and have a broken heart. I was ten, but it's it's a it's a good cry. You know what I'm saying? I am the modern man. Secret, secret, I've got a secret. Who hides behind? I've definitely heard this. I literally have never heard this song. My true identity. Oh! This is good, I like this. I have actually never heard this. That sounds familiar. That used to be my go-to dance move in like preschool, was the robot. Do you know it? I have no idea. I don't know what it's called, but I've definitely heard it. That's Mr. Roboto, but I, yeah, I just can't think of the artist. Mr. Roboto, bye! Ooh, wow, I don't know. So this is called Mr. Roboto by Styx. See, I would have never guessed these. I've definitely heard of them and I've definitely heard some of their music. I didn't realize this was them. It's so theatrical and over the top and I love it because it, it, it hits its mark. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Who are you gonna go? Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters! Why can I, why do I not know anybody's names? I actually don't know who the artist of this is. Dude! I'm afraid to know Oh, so epic! This will forever be a classic. I don't think I've ever heard this outside of the Ghostbusters movie. I didn't know this was like an actual song. All right, do you know it? Yeah, I know it's Ghostbusters. I just can't think of the artist. I didn't even know that song had like a name. I just always called it the Ghostbusters theme song. The Ghostbusters. I don't know who sings it, but it was in the Ghostbusters movie. This is Ghostbusters and the artist is Ray Parker Jr. Ray Parker Jr. I don't think I've ever heard of him. I think my kids will know this song. This is up there with one of the best movie theme songs of all time. Like I would say this is top 10. All of these are so good. I I feel like I need to like make an 80s playlist now. Thanks for watching Do They Know It on the React channel. Don't miss out, be sure to subscribe. Goodbye. Hey guys, Alyssa here, a producer from the React channel. Thanks so much for checking out this 80s episode today. Let us know in the comments what 80s songs you want to listen to next. See you next time.